Hi everyone, Simon here again. Solomon's Tales, here we go again. We left it, where was he? He was in the Belgium guy's bar or German or whatever he was. Playing pool, he was asking about jobs in Patea. Bar manager jobs. The guy um, has given him a lead. A bar, I think Sharky's bar, where they've played pool competitions. So it's a big, big pool bar, just down from Dolphin Roundabout on Second Road in their little alley there. Um, so, hmm. Anyway, Simon finishes playing pool with this guy. Says thanks, pays his bill. Says see him soon. He says, you know, any more competitions coming up? And the guys, I'm actually off back home um, in a few days. He said, so I don't know. I haven't really bothered, but I'll be back in about three months. There's a chance for Solomon to get back on to uh, the pool circuit. Anyway, it's it's going on a bit time-wise. It must be about 7, 8 in the evening. And he thinks, well, I've had food. I'm not doing really want any more food. I've had a few drinks. I was just have an early night. Wonder what Frozen's up to. I haven't heard from her for a week. You know, she's gone off to Bangkok. And he thinks, well, I'll head back to the room. And uh, I'll give her a ring, see where she is and what's happening. See if we can line up some pool contests. I need some money. So, jumps on the bike. It's uh, literally five minutes down the road. Less than that on the bike. Two minutes down the road. Back to the room. So he pulls up, parks the bike up. And the girls are outside. Ne well, outside their old complex in Soy 4. Where their room was. They're out there on the table, they're eating food, there's the usual <laughs> deja vu, you know, the motorcycles person selling food there. And all of them are sat outside. Um, except the go-go girl, she's gone. So, three of them there, gets off the bike, comes over, hi. And again, like in England, what are you doing, where are you going? Oh, I've had food, I've had a drink, got a crash. Tired a bit, you know. Okay, okay. Want some food? He's like, nah, nah, nah. He says to her, uh, "Any? Have you heard from Frozen? Any news?" And things like, "No, nope, nothing." He's like, oh, I'll give her a ring. He says, uh, "Got a room key?" Says, oh, it's open. <laughs> and he thinks, "I've got a few bits of money in my pocket and my passport. Safe key?" She goes, "Oh, Sue got it on reception." All right then. So up the step, first stairs into the sort of uh, soapy area. The girl that always waves and what well, sort of winks at him and stuff. Didn't see her. She's not there. Sue's there. Girl behind the bars there. He walks in and Sue's like, Ah, hello, you're back. You're not going for a longer trip. He's no, no. He says, uh, just did a quick visa run in the end. Um, he said, I'll. Oh, sort out room with you next week another week he said oh, i'm gonna stay he said, yeah, okay okay and bike and stuff and he leans to the over the counter to the girl he says he got the safe key for my room Just give him the big key and sue's like you want coffee he said no i'm a bit tired i'm gonna crash he's like oh, all right then. didn't say much and he had a quick look over his shoulder at the uh, goldfish bowl and stuff and there's a few girls milling around no customers in there Seems quiet. Uh, anyway, so up he goes to his room. And uh, in he goes. Throws his stuff in the safe. He's got that huge key. He thinks, right, I must ring Frozen. So he rings Frozen. And uh, sure enough, she answers. He's like, where are you? What are you doing? I'm back in Patera. I finished visa run. She said, I'm in Bangkok still. Um, with boyfriend. She said, my foreign boyfriends coming over in a few days she said I'm gonna stay Bangkok meet him don't know where we go and he's like now you've got your room it's empty that'd be a good place for the girls to go wouldn't it and she's like yeah he said uh, you've got a key down here spare maybe the girls can use your room and she's like no 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 they can't use my room <laughs> she knows they're moving and they never move out he's like oh, nearly 
nearly. And she says, I'll, I'll ring you once my foreign boyfriend's, uh, don't know how long you're staying. So I'll see you when I see you. And he's like, okay. Oh, puts his phone down. He thinks, I'm going to have to go round all the bars myself now, all the local pool bars, and find out who's playing when. And I'll be on my own, or maybe Neil will come. And he thinks, actually, if I win anything, I get uh, more money in my pocket. So that's good. Now he knows the Sharkies one, that isn't um, about another three three weeks, they do it every month, so there should be a few about. Anyway, that's it, he crashes, early night, um, he gets woken up a couple of times, Ning coming in, and uh, Red's hair coming in, no M, so, what was that? <laughs> through the night, they come and go, they come and go. <laughs> when he woke up in the morning, there was only Ning and red hair there. <laughs> so, it's still a guy's dream. Oh dear, oh dear, dear, dear. So he's focused, he's, morning comes, sun's beaming through the windows, and waking him up. And he gets up and he's like, oh, you know, shower, throw some clothes on. It's right on a mission. I've got to find the pool games and I've got to go up to that Sharky's bar and start asking about the manager's job and stuff. Girls are fast asleep as usual. They don't wake up till well late in the morning. Breakfast, out he goes, bike, straight down. He goes around, he comes back on second road. But this time he goes on to the... Uh, must be about somewhere around Soy 6, but on the other side of the road, on second road, as a good English breakfast. Goes up there, gets a full breakfast, sets him up for the day. Hard to find a good English breakfast back 15 years ago in Patea, but nowadays apparently they're everywhere, which is good. The amount of times he's riding up and down second road on that bike, <laughs> in the loop, and you quite often doesn't even go much further out of that circle. Um, so breakfast done. Now there's no way he's going to go around um, talking to bars about manager's job in the, in the daytime. It's got to be late afternoon. And also find him in the pool competition. The only way he's going to spot that is if they've got signs up. So he takes a bit of a ride and he actually goes off. So he became around there and and he takes a ride for about an hour around all the bars, he knows where the tables are. But unless it's on that day, they don't tend to put the signs out. Spots nothing. He thinks, ah, okay. He's gonna have to go out in the evening and do the same again, but without the bike and go to the bars and ask them all. As well as go to Sharky's. Busy day. He takes a trip up Second Road to the shopping center up on the top right near Dolphin around about where his bank is. He thinks, I've got to check funds. I've got to start looking at what's left. And he's still got a few thousand dollars in there. He hasn't been hitting it that much. He has been quite lucky with the pool contests. Um, but he's used the ATM a few times. Exchange rate back then was well over 70 baht. So that's great, great. Back to the room. Goes in, and this is like two hours later, two and a half hours later, and uh, red hair still in bed. Ning sat at the end of bed watching TV. He's like, well, what are they like? Of course, he walks in. She's like, well, oh, you want to go for food? And he's like, no, no. <laughs> uh, and Ning sort of, you know, what are you doing then? What are you going to do? What's happening? And he sits and talks to her, they have a good old chat, and he says he's going to start looking for a job to maybe manage a bar. And she's like, hmm, mm, good idea. And then she's thinking straight away, ah, get it, I'll have free drink, there'll be free food. Yeah, you can see her brain going. She then says, as well as Frozen's fella's coming over, Ning said, her fella is coming in about three weeks' time and he's coming over for a longer period, maybe three months. So, 
he's something to do with golf but he's got a big break coming up and she's like I'm gonna go traveling with him he's like oh okay we're gonna lose Ning Frozen's fella's over <laughs> I'd be all alone not a bad thing not a bad thing <laughs> check for a while and he's like later on he said I'm gonna go around the bars find out where the pool matches are and I'm also going to another bar I talk about a job and she's like oh, I'll come with you tonight and we'll go together and he's like I'm not gonna get drunk he said I'm just gonna go all the bars walk song tell wander around she's like yeah cool be nice food first though and he's like, yeah whatever at this point he just I'm gonna have a crash and he just crashes on the bed sort of you know between them and quite often you'll find if uh, if you're staying there a long time that you will end up having these siestas and afternoon lunchtime sleeps because you start to sort of live at night you sort of uh, become nocturnal um, you do spend late nights as well sometimes in fact you can go all night sometimes with bars open and uh, sleep in the daytime a lot of the girls do this and then you wake up have food and then go back to sleep so he just crashes a few hours later wakes up reds disappeared Ning's still there still watching TV um, and it's the same again he gets up shower throws clothes on throws some jeans on his only pair of jeans and um, food so late afternoon four o'clock ish he says to Ning right I'm going to get food and I'm going to start going around the bars early could be a long night and he's like yeah 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 I'll just get changed and so not 10 minutes takes her about 30 minutes showers change and they go off and he thinks I'm going to go soy eight is one bar in there that's always got the contests on pretty much every week um, let's start there so it's, it's a bit of a walk down so it's a quick song tell down and get some food maybe do soy eight and then get food at the top okay so he's got Ning on his arm looking stunning as ever ah, such a beautiful beautiful woman and uh, they go head to soy eight in they go and you have to have a drink at every bar you go to it's just customary you know you're, you're helping the bars and the owners and the managers at this Soy 8 bar we're talking about back then the bottom section of Soy 8 so if your beach is behind you the bottom left hand corner I think it was called centre point at the time or centre bars or something there was like an L shaped walk through and the bar on the right was the, the pool bar there's quite a few girls and they he's now becoming a regular face so you get quite a few girls smiling at him and they've seen him play pool in there um, and they're all like winking and smiling and waving and so yeah he's getting a bit of a getting known <laughs> is that a good thing mm -mm, not sure but he dives into that bar English guy I think pretty sure his English guy owns the bar and he's got a few other little businesses he dives in and he says hi Solomon how are you everything all right yep 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 says what's the pool competition when is it next and he said two nights time um, should be a good turnout that's great so in the calendar two nights as a drink buys Ning a drink yeah he says to the guy he says I'm thinking of staying and maybe trying to find a job in a bar manager whatever any idea have you heard of any and he's like mm, not really he doesn't get out much he says no I haven't really uh, don't know any but if I do I'll bear you in mind and, okay cheers it's no good there so pool contest two more nights brilliant right top of soy eight just around the corner food Ning's very happy she starts getting excited when it's food like most of the girls do um, and it's becoming a bit of a, a pattern every day it's starting to be similar 
and you can get caught in that when you're living there if you're not careful you get up in the morning you know you'll maybe a walk down the beach you get your breakfast sleep go out afternoon have a drink or two food sleep food again then out hitting the town it and you can do that every day if you're not careful i can see how people fall into that before you realize that you become an alcoholic um get into bad ways you know there are gyms and places around keeping fit but that'd be hard to put, put drum into yourself living over there very hard breakfast was it breakfast no evening meal okay see i'm getting lost so does the bar they go and get food right gonna go just along second road and flick right towards soy because there's a couple of bars up there and it's walking distance so they walk up first bar no sign pops in doesn't have a drink when's the pool on it's like uh, next week and it's about four days away four or five days right mental note up the road only about two three hundred yards up towards soy Bacow, another bar goes in has a drink so that's two drinks and it's only early their contest is a night after that last one so that's perfect so that's three lined up in a week okay that could do um the other bars you can just wander around on on the bike you can, well, there's nothing in the next couple of days so two drinks down he says to Ning right i'm going to sharky's bar to talk to them um I don't really want to take you when I'm looking for the job, it doesn't look good. He said, how about I drop you off at uh, Atlantic Bar and you go see your girlfriends at the bars next door. Rain. Um, and she's like, yeah, okay. And he said, maybe once I've done that, I'll come back and get you. Said, okay. So they back to Second Road, jump in a song tail all the way up. So Atlantic Bar is between Soy 2 and Soy 4 in the second road end stops there opening gets and Solomon gets out as well because it's only a couple of hundred meters up towards where the Sharpies bar is and then up the steps off to see her friends and uh, Solomon's walking up and he goes over the end of Soy 2 there's just in, remember that his, his room was down there and there's the toilets and the little 7-eleven dives in the 7-eleven gets some cigarettes and stuff lipo Opposite there, um, is it opposite there in Soy 2 or just up a bit? Classroom 2000 Go Go, I think it was back then. So either opposite or in the next little Soy notices that. Walks up second road, and there's a load of bars on the left. Quite a few packed in there, and they go quite deep as well. Looks a nice drinking area, and he hasn't really sort of mooched around there much. A lot of girls shouting. Um, shouting hi and come on in for a drink and all this and he's like, so he keeps walking around the corner tucks into the soy and the shark is on his right hand side and he goes in um, usual people sees quite a few of the girls a few of them say hello to him they recognise him and he's looking at the back and the, there's like an area where people pay it's actually up in the air a bit and then there's another couple of doors and things and he walks through to the back and that girl the boss's girlfriend comes over and says hi and he says to her is your other half here you know i want to ask about some about a job and stuff she's like mm, okay hang on she goes off into the back comes back and uh, he comes out he says hi and recognizes solomon and, and a drink and he's like yeah yeah i'll have a beer so they grab a grove to the one side, there's a little bit of a bar area there. Gets a beer, he says, uh, what are you looking for? He says, I'm trying to, Solomon says, I'm trying to find a bar job. I'd like to stay in Patea. You know, um, Belgian guy up the road in Naklua said you might have something or know of something about a go-go job. And the guy, he's like, right, he said, uh, 
you, said, you missed out. He said, the guy, I, I'm part of a couple of go-go bars, he said, as well. When he says part of, I don't know how much of a part of. It's a bit of a group, own two or three go-go bars. He says, the go-go bar, a couple of doors down, we've got a guy who's been manager for a year. He's going on his own, starting his own, well, he's working with some other people and they're opening a bar in Walking Street. He says, so he's leaving, but I've got another guy who's part of the group coming in to run the go-go bar. He said, I mean, I can show you, he said, and if that guy doesn't work out, I'll give you a ring and you can try. And so I was like, yeah, okay, so no job, but maybe. There's a good lead. Anyway, we'll leave it there. Next video, he's going to the go-go bar with this guy from Sharkies. Can it lead to something else? Maybe. I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.